Hello everyone. I just wanted to make a video. I can't truly express myself the way I want to in this video because it's late. It's 12 o'clock at night. My mom's asleep and it's, you know, we're having really severe cold weather down here. So my cat is in the other room. I don't want to scare my cat. You know, me, uh, you know, he's asleep. You know, me yelling and screaming in here. Um, so of course we have him indoors because of the, you know, the severity of the cold. And uh, so I'm going to have to keep this really calm and short and sweet. I went and saw a movie tonight at the theater. You know, everything's closed on uh, Christmas, so, I, you know, there's nothing to do. So I went and saw a movie. Well, <laughs> it was Avatar. I guess this movie was new, I guess. Um, but the night before, I had also gone and seen a movie on Christmas Eve. I mean, you guys know my life. I don't have no wife or kids. And uh, so I went and saw uh, the kids' movie, Puss in Boots. And I liked it. Thought it was a cute movie. Um, it entertained me. You know, you know, it's a kid's movie. It's PG. It's, you know, it's, it's what you expect. Uh, I know the Christian movie critic, Michael Medved, gave it three out of four stars, which I thought was fair because the plot line was a little more complicated for kids. Uh, I, I just think, you know, you're making a movie for children, uh, a storyline for children, not the not the Mensa meeting, you know what I mean? It doesn't have to be like a high IQ storyline for a kid's movie, but but the movie was cute, it was good, it wasn't too long, about an hour and 20 minutes, I don't think that's too bad, and it was just, it was fun. I enjoyed it, you know, I actually went, watched a movie, and enjoyed it, I had a good time for what the movie was. I didn't expect it to be insanely amazing, it's not supposed to be, you know, uh, and I enjoyed it. Tonight, I went and saw Avatar, Okay, to give you the hint, this movie started at 8.30. 8.30? I just got home 15 minutes ago. It's tw <laughs> after 12 o'clock at night. I'm not kidding. I know you got to count commercials. I get all that. Uh, you know, because the movie, you know, the theater plays like a gazillion commercials. But number one, this movie was so long. Like I, like I said, let's see, one, two, three, yeah, about, that, that movie was close to three hours, I'm not kidding. Uh, I had lost interest halfway through the movie. Uh, I'm not going to give a lot of spoilers in this, like I said, if anybody wants to see it, please don't, I, I hated it. I, 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 this movie was so long. And I felt like I wasted my time. That's why, you know, when I make videos on here, I always say I try to keep them as short as I can because I don't want to waste people's time, you know, watching my videos when you can be doing something good for yourself and more entertaining than just listen to me ramble and rat and rave, right? But this movie started, the plot line was so long. Like, it took forever. And then the fight scenes, you know, the main plot of the movie... You know, you, you start thinking, okay, it's about to end, it's about to end. And it just kept going and going and going and going and going and going. And I'm sitting here, I, I want to go home. Like, I'm already, I don't care now. You know, let the whole family or whatever it is get slaughtered. I don't care. I don't care now. I just want to go home. At least it would end the movie. And uh, there would be nobody left. There would be dead, right? And... You know, it was the Avatar, the James Cameron movie. And on top of it, it tried to sneak left-wing politics into it. Uh, you'll get, if you know, I guess if you're left-wing, you won't mind. But there was a lot of left-wing wokeism in this movie. And uh, I'm just like, oh my gosh, you know. And, uh, you know, like it, now it's going to try to teach me politics too. Like really, you know, I halfway through it, I, I almost said it out loud. And there was a decent amount of people in the theater for what the movie, you know, for that movie. It was, you know, Christmas night, Christmas Day night. And there was this goofy couple that was sitting next to me. They kind of would talk through the movie. You know, the kind of people that would talk. They were white people, you know, they weren't, you know, and they would talk through the movie like there's nobody in there but them. And that was getting on my nerves. And then at the end of the movie, I'm like I said, I'm not going to spoil it, but at the end of the movie, I look over and the wife is crying, you know, like like it was an emotional movie. I'm like, what the, heck? excuse my language, but what the hell, you know? And I look up and there was some girls sitting behind me and they were crying and it looked like, 
unless they've been asleep. You know how you're asleep, you wake up, and sometimes your eyes are watering. But uh, but th there were some girls up behind me, and it looked like they had kind of been crying because I knew I kept hearing sniffles, and they had not sniff, you know, snuffed their nose, you know, throughout the movie. And then you start to hear the, you know. So I'm thinking, oh my God, this movie actually got to really. Like I said, you'll have to see it for yourself. I thought the movie was atrocious. I hated this movie. Um, I just absolutely hated it. But, um, I, I don't know. Like I said, this movie was so long, too. Uh, if you, have, has anybody, you know the movie Karate Kid, the first one? I, I guess most people like Karate Kid. I did. I liked the movie. And apparently they must because that show Cobra Kai, you know, was a big hit. But, um, I'm sitting there, and you know, and it would be like if Karate Kid was going on, and you know the scenes where Mr. Miyagi's teaching Daniel how to do blocks and things, and he's doing it by having him do chores. You know, everybody remembers that scene. Well, it'd be like if he had him do ten more chores, just to make it long. You know, and let's have him fix the car. Let's have him, let's have him paint the driveway. You know, it's like, it's just, it was so ridiculous. You know, like you'd be like, oh my God, I don't even care about this movie anymore. And uh, or it'd be like if Daniel was in the karate tournament, and instead of having him fight just Johnny, he's gonna fight like twenty other people, or or he'll beat Johnny, and it may he'll be best out of three, or or he has to beat Johnny, and then he's got to beat the owner, but he doesn't really beat Johnny. Johnny didn't lose, and then the you know it would just be like, oh my God, this movie is too long. Like it's got too many plot twists. It's getting on my nerves, and uh, that's what this movie was like. It was so bad. I hated this movie. Like, after the movie the other night that I enjoyed, I actually had a good time. This movie tonight was, I'm sorry, excuse my language because I'm trying to clean up my language. I just, I can't help it. This movie was pure horse shit. Uh, I absolutely hated it. And uh, please don't go see Avatar. If you do, if anybody does, first off, you'll, you'll be at the theater for a pretty good while, so free up your calendar. Um, and please tell me if this movie did not drain you like it did me. Oh, my God. I didn't care at the end of the movie. I'm just sitting here looking at people like, and I get it. It was women, you know. And I'm not going to, you know, be all mean about that. But I'm just sitting here like, really? This this movie made you sad? Like, I don't know. I was so bored with it. I didn't care at that point. Like, It'd be like, if, like I said, if Karate Kid dragged it out, it'd be like, I don't care if Daniel broke his leg. It'd be like if he broke it two or three or four times. You know, you'd be like, I don't care. Just let him loose so it'll be over when we go home. Um, it was just so bad. And uh, this movie was just atrocious. It was absolutely atrocious. I hated it. I don't ever want to see it again. And please do not give this movie the 2022, uh, 2020, yeah, 2022, Avatar movie, the James Cameron Avatar movie. Please do not give this movie your support. It was so bad and I hated it so much. Well, guys, that's all I got to say. Like I said, I'll leave it at that and hope y'all had a good night. And boy, I hated it. That was three, almost three hours of my life I lost. Oh, well, guys, have a good one. We'll talk to you soon.